Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video here at Cardu Garage. Today, we're going to work on the F23 for the Accord. <clears throat> um, what I want to do is just get the intake manifold off and strip it completely down where it's just the bare intake because we're going to start doing some work on this intake. Um, underneath this part, it's a two-piece intake. There's stuff in here like the tunnels and everything. You, board, you um, pour them out and then there's a section you cut out, plate it, helps with airflow and some power. So that's what we're going to end up doing. So first thing we're going to do is pull the fuel rail off, get all this little stuff off of it, make it bare, and then we'll pull it off the, uh, the head. So let's get to work on that. And as you can see, guys, I brought my clip for my camera, so I can put you guys on a time lapse. So let's get it. I'm just going to start taking everything off for the fuel rail and move on to whatever is there. So let's get it. Now guys, I didn't realize my camera shut off, but I got the EGR valve off, I got the coolant bypass tube off, and a couple of intake bolts, so I gotta do the bottom ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now. Sorry, like I have one battery and it doesn't last long, that's why I really don't do time lapse, I've said that before in a video, so I gotta order new ones. Yeah, all these bolts are off, I gotta get this one here, which is gonna be kind of a pain, because I have this tab here that is welded on, because this was stripped out. So we're not going to be using this head anymore, so we're good. So I'm going to take the VTEC cell mode off and try and get that bolt off. Alright guys, sorry the camera kept dying. I just didn't want to mess with it anymore. But I got the intake off. As you can see, here's where all the bolts will be. They're just 12 mils. This that tab I was telling you about. So all the stuff I took off to get to the bolts. Pretty much all you'll need to do this job is a 10 and a 12 to get all the stuff off and some pliers, you know, for like little um, clamps. But here's the intake manifold, it's off the car, or the engine. Well, look at that. That's where the EGR was. Like, that's just disgusting. So, look, we're gonna be cleaning that up real good. And we're gonna make an EGR block off plate for this. Um, what I'm gonna do now is take these two pieces apart so just some 12 mils right here three in the front two back here and I believe that was it so I'm not sure but yeah we're gonna separate these two pieces and I'll check back with you guys all right guys so I got the two pieces separated look at like how much like corrosion is in here um, that's pretty much carbon buildup is what it is, but it's all in the intake, everywhere. There's a whole bunch right here. So, yeah, definitely gonna clean this up really good. Um, I need to get a new um, map sensor, I think that is, right? No, TPS? Yeah, that's the TPS. Ugh. So yeah, and then I'm gonna do the EGR block off as well because I'm like when it's, it's converted to OBD1 and we don't run the EGR on it or not EGR the the IAC so I'm blocking that off and the EGR so cold starts will suck but in Florida don't get too cold so I'll be good right here I'll be putting a block off plate here and then we'll put out these tunnels and everything on it and then the throttle body part we'll take the throttle body off and we'll gasket match that right here we're gonna gasket match as well so everything will be nice, solid, and make some decent power, hopefully, with this setup. I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up.
All right, guys. So <clears throat> I still got to clean it better, but for the most part, I got all that stuff that was in here, all the carbon buildup, carbon built up in here, and there was some in the corners in here, and then in here, I tried to get it all as best I could. Um, I'm gonna try and sandblast this, but I'm not gonna use that one. I have a buddy who's got a sandblasted cabinet, so I'll take that there with me. I should be going there in the next couple days, and. I'll bring this with me. We'll sandblast it all then. I'm still trying to clean this up in here. So, little by little, I need to get a throttle body because this broke. So, yeah. And the fuel pressure regulator broke too, but I might be upgrading that, so I'm not sure. But what I'm going to go ahead and start doing now is I got my Dremel right here. I started doing a little bit, but I'm like, oh, let me grab the camera. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up these ports in here, all four of those. Make it nice and smooth, try and pretty much gasket match it all, and then go as deep as I can inside these. So I'm going to put you on the tripod and do a little time lapse of some of it, and then I get this going. So, important on this, pretty much matching the gasket. You can kind of see how there's that gap between the material and the gasket itself. Look over here, it's all like matched to that. And just going down the port as deep as you can get. And then you go back with this here. And then it smooths in it out. I'm using the stone one right now. They have a, the metal carbide bits that helps do this. I don't have one, so I'm just using what I got in this kit. I'm going to go later on and get a metal one. That cleans it up faster. But yeah, you just run down the whole thing. I got as far down as I can. So I'm about to put this on and smoothing it out. And this one should be just about done. And move on to the next one. And just keep on going. And then we'll work on putting these ones out. This does a dramatic change because you can take out so much material up here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and smoothen this out and I'll show you guys how that one looks when it's done. Alright guys, so this is pretty much a finished product. It's nice and smooth. I'm get all in as far as I can go with the Dremel. Let me get some light and I'll show you guys how it looks. I went in as deep as I could. So that's all gasket matched and cleaned up. That's how the stock one will look. You see all the gap between the gasket and the actual material, the manifold. And how like dirty and all that is and stuff. How smooth that is. So, for every time consuming, some people say it's not worth doing, but, you know, I think it's totally worth doing it. So, yeah. So, probably got about an hour and a half, two hours on just this one little section here that I was working on. So, a lot of time, that's for sure. But, I'm going to keep on going. Alright guys, so, um, back home. I actually left to go to Walmart to get these bits right here. Um, these are the carbide bits I was telling you guys about. These make it so much easier to port those. And then you just use these to smoothen it out. I got two different grits. One's a 120, one's a 60. So one will actually try and get the lines out that this will leave. And this will smoothen it out better than what I was using. So and they're relatively cheap. I think all this here was like 14 bucks or so. And this should be enough to finish up the bottom portion. These really um, don't really go bad. Over time they do, but they last a while. Um, what, the only thing that happens with aluminum, they'll get gunked up in here, but you can literally take like a screwdriver and just pull the aluminum chunks out of it, and they're good for a while. These obviously they don't last too long, but there should be enough here to get them, and these I think are like two bucks a pack. So they're pretty cheap. These are I think like seven bucks or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. Uh, hope you guys are stoked that we're working on the Accord again. Smash that like button because we're getting this shit done. I ain't sleeping on the truck or this accord no more. I miss drifting. I miss driving mass 10. I miss slamming gears. I miss hearing boosts. And I just miss the accord in general. Like, I like the caddy and all, but it's not me. You know what I mean? Like, 
the Accord is me. That's my thing. You know, I love my Accord. I've had it for a long time, you know, and it was the start of the channel. But we're going to stop talking. I'm going to try and edit this video up real quick for you guys. Get it up. Um, I'm trying to upload as much as I can. I know I say that a lot, but honestly, sometimes I just don't know what to do and funds. But <clears throat> I'm going to keep pushing. So parts are coming for the S10. The Accord is going to be done soon. Um, I'm talking a different video about what's going to be happening with the Accord. We're going to be getting an engine in that car really soon. So, thank you for watching, though. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Peace.